A stroll down their local beach is a morning ritual for Mark Asper and his wife Anne. We walk the dogs a lot. I do a lot of work with, on an, an acre here. It just shows that you can be totally healthy but have an underlying issue. The 55-year-old keeps fit and healthy, but one morning late last year, it all changed. It's like one day I was going along as usual. I was getting up to walk the dogs as we, as we do, to being flat on my back in a hospital, being told that I've had a stroke. Your world changes, yeah, everything changes. Mark was sitting fully clothed on the toilet seat. And he just had kind of a, a bit of a, a blank expression on his face. And I said, are you okay? And he said, no, I think something's really wrong. Marine rescue training meant Anne knew immediately her husband was having a stroke. It's one of the scarier moments I've ever had in my life. I just remember being grateful for the first aid training that we have. At Shoalhaven Hospital, Mark connected within minutes to a stroke specialist 250 kilometres away who diagnosed his stroke and prescribed a clot-busting drug. If this had have happened to me a year ago, I may not have received the same um, help in, in that manner. The virtual service is called Telestroke and Mark says it saved his life. The fact now that they have the Telestroke service is, I suppose, a game changer to use a term that's probably overused. It's, it is because you've got about a four and a half hour window to treat a stroke before the damage can become more permanent in various ways. Hi, how's it going? Good. Let's have a look at Mark's scans here. Professor Ken Butcher is spearheading the program. Uh, but if we look at the blood flow images, which... Telestroke is a way of essentially trying to deliver the same level of care to patients in those areas where they've traditionally been uh, uh, deprived of access to that level of care. Nearly 2,000 patients have been treated through the $22 million program in New South Wales, which by June will be active at 23 hospitals. You are going to be fine. You are going to come good. We will get you back doing everything you were before and we will get you home. Uh, so using high definition video and audio on a, a mobile, what we call workstation on wheels, I'm able to assess a patient. Uh, I can t talk to them. I can talk to their caregivers who are with them at the time of the stroke in the emergency department. And I can examine them uh, with the help of the local physicians on the ground. It still is an incredible uh, technological feat that I can actually look inside a patient's cranium uh, while they're actually having a stroke and tell you what type of stroke they're having. Mr. Dar, you can open your eyes. Aaron, could you just show me finger nose? Doctors say time is critical in stroke emergencies. Thank you very much, Mr. Dar. The faster that we can restore blood flow to a, a patient's brain who's had a stroke, the better their chances of making a full recovery, rescuing that brain that was otherwise going to be injured. So stroke is a time-critical medical emergency. The further you are away from a comprehensive stroke uh, treatment centre, the less chance you will have of making a full recovery. Access to timely treatment is still limited in many parts of regional Australia. The consequences can be lifelong. Yeah, we obviously missed out on that opportunity because there was yeah. no medical intervention here at all. Like three and a half hours waiting for a locum to rock up to our local hospital was a bloody joke. And the thing is, there's that chance that it could happen again. Yeah. And I don't want it to. Yeah, I know. Graham Smith had a stroke over a decade ago in Nanango, and his wife Roshana is now his full-time carer. Absolutely, they they yeah. definitely need something like the the tele stroke because yeah. you know it's it comes down the minutes at the end of the day. After a major health scare, Mark is slowly working back to top condition. Absolutely nil. 
uh, side effects as far as I'm aware. I wasn't allowed to drive for a month, which has just finished. Just coming to terms with it, I think I try and pinch myself sometimes to think how lucky I am to have been had access to a service and so quickly as the Telestroke service allows. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.